Hi, Alan SoCal. I am reviewing offered by the CC Hot store. <laughs> yes, CC Hot. I'm, uh, I'm reviewing these uh, hand jacks. You get two of them in a pack. Uh, total cost of the order is $33. That uh, amortizes to about $16.50 per jack, which I think is very economical. Um, it's probably uh, one of the less costly uh, versions of hand jacks on Amazon. And when I got mine in, contrary to unfortunately some other reviewers and customers, mine did work. The only thing I did right off the bat, I used some high quality machine oil on either side of the vertical slide uh, guide and uh, that stopped some of the, the squeaking, although I think I'm going to do it again. And um, I tested it uh, in the garage, lifting various items. What I want to make sure you guys understand if you're looking at the video is that this is not a lifting jack per se. This is a lift positioning tool or a spreader tool. And when I say lift positioning, I'm talking about lifting a wooden door, which is not going to weigh 100 pounds. You're not lifting commercial doors, although you might be able to if you had two of these to share the load. But um, the statement by the vendor's page, 220 pound uh, uh, lifting, uh, I would not try that and I wouldn't want to do that. I wouldn't feel secure doing it. I would say these things are going to be good up to about 75 pounds, maybe 100 pounds using two of them. I like to have plenty of safety factor. Secondly, it's not just lifting that I'm doing with these. I have already used this device just as a test, but I've used similar in my shop. And what I use it for is a spreading tool uh, if you can imagine this jack, and uh, let me uh, bring it a bit closer for you. There we go. So imagine that you've got uh, a wall over here. You uh, are installing flooring right here. You can put the jack up against a 2x4. And here's the, what you would think is the lifting lip, but now it's going to be the spreader. And let's say I'm doing interlocking uh, flooring. I can basically have my flooring about here, let's say, and I've tongue and groove, I've locked it in, but it's not all the way in. I want to just snug it up, make sure the whole board goes into the tongue and groove. I get this one, maybe another one, and I just simply use these to spread and push so now it's going to push up against my flooring, secure it in nice and snug, and um, I can go ahead and do the next board. Just release the jack, and uh, well, it's hard doing it in this position, but there it goes. Uh, and then, uh, you know, do the next, uh, the next board. So the two important points this is just a, a light duty hand jack and it's really for lifting, positioning, or pushing. Uh, so I wouldn't uh, have great expectations that this will uh, substitute for a pump hose ram set. I just felt that people had uh, unreasonable expectations for these tools. If you want to get a more costly unit, they're available uh, in the trade. A carpenter would easily pay $200 to $225 for a hand wrench or a hand jack like this. So for $17, $16.50 each, uh, I was able to lift a small desk in the garage. I was able to push a couple of cabinets sideways because they're sliding. So I, the cabinets probably weigh 600 pounds with all the stuff in them, but I was close enough to the base of the cabinet where I could actually push it out a little bit. And um, those are the applications for a tool like this. It's, it's not intended to lift your refrigerator straight up. It won't do that. It's too much weight. So I think it's a four to five star item. 
if you've got reasonable expectations and when you get them, you know, they're, they're working, good working condition. The only thing that I saw on the vendor page that didn't look right to me, uh, under material it said uh, stainless steel. I don't know why that was put in. Uh, if you look at the base of the unit, it's got a welded, um, the base plate is welded to the uh, vertical shaft, uh, the travel shaft, and you can quite simply see if you're in the metal industry or are familiar with plating, you can tell that this entire base plate has been plated as is all the other hardware that I see here. I don't know where the stainless steel would be, and frankly, I'm not so sure they'd need it. Maybe it's just this handle piece, but it's going to be a very low-grade stainless. Uh, so, you know, I'm not exposing it to, uh, to uh, salt spray or anything. It's, it's just uh, a hand jack. But, again, four to five stars. I think that's a fair rating. Mine works. And, again, the only thing I added here to stop the squeaking and to make it uh, close down easier was some machine oil and I might put more on because it um, you can see here it'll it'll go up without making a lot of noise that see it's it's squeaking at the upper end but when I push down on the release and uh, push on the lip it does close it closes a lot easier than when they came out of the box dry so that's it four to five stars